Do Deuteronomy, do Deuteronomy, do Deuteronomy, Dan. Uh, you're listening to Life in the Path. Uh, we are, uh, we're talking to Steve Pinkley. Steve? So Steve, Steve's been a good sport. We've been harassing Steve all day. He's a, he's a fortunate man who's got two tables away from us. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So uh, the Lord does what he wants. It's got to happen to somebody, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but Steve is an awesome man, and here's, here's, my, here's why. Here's why I think so. And he doesn't know I think this, but this is why I think this. Uh, first of all, he wears a, a bright red shirt. And it takes a man to wear that bright red shirt around. Agreed. I mean, you could, you could pick him out in a crowd. Now, that's what I said when I first saw him. I said, uh, we want to talk to you later. And I, and I said, I'll find you because <laughs> I can pick him out. And second of all, Steve brings food to the fair, you know. He's got, uh, he's got cookies out here ready to go to help people out to draw them in. And and that's, they're, they're that's shrewd. They're good cookies, That's a shrewd too. move, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, third of all, uh, Steve comes off of me as a man who's got a, an awesome heart for Christ. And he, he's at the Hidden Acres Christian Center. Um, and he's doing some awesome stuff with kids. Uh, so those are the three reasons in reverse order as to why I think Steve is awesome. <laughs> uh, so Steve, tell us a little bit about uh, Hidden Acres Christian Center. Well, yeah, sure. It's great to have you guys here. And, and you think about this little kid up on stage, and he's like three years old, banging that drum, and, and a lot of musical talent right there. But anyway, Hidden Acres is uh, um, a summer camp, retreat, and conference center. Uh, 660 acres, uh, has over 70 buildings up there. We're about an hour north of Des Moines, uh, about... 10 miles north of uh, Ogden, Iowa. We're actually in Dayton, Iowa. So now, when you give that type of information, Steve, I feel like you can't keep the place hidden. <laughs> well, it, it, it's hidden, but, uh, but once you get there, it's just incredible. I tell you, it's a place that you can kind of uh, uh, disconnect to reconnect. And that's kind of what we, we kind of like, is, is to get away, get away from your regular routine, and reconnect with God, reconnect with your family, reconnect with brothers in Christ. And it's just a great place to go. Now, is it? Uh, now, what's the gist of it? Is there like is there like summer programs for kids, or can I call up and say, "Hey, look, me and my family just want to hang out for a week. Can we do that too?" Well, it, it uh, we have summer camps. We run about six weeks of summer camp, and and, uh, and it's just a great time. And and just finishing up our fifth week, we have our our high schoolers coming in. We have four hundred high schoolers coming in next week, and we're excited about that. Um, and but it's a great place. Uh, this weekend we have a family reunion up there. Uh, the Lever families there are good friends of mine, and huh. and they have about fifty some. Uh, people from all over, from California, from Ohio, from Michigan, and they're all met there for the weekend as a family. And I tell you, just to, to see them connect as a family in a place like that. So you can. You can come up there as a family and, 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 and connect together. Do I have the run of the entire 600 acres? Well, um, <laughs> that doesn't sound like real promising, Steve. <laughs> well, yes, uh, um, we do put some limits on certain people, and probably you're one of them. <laughs> I, I, like your, I like your screening. Hey, reason number four, uh, Steve is discerning. <laughs> He's got discernment. <laughs> I'm tired of running into people with discernment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm so sorry, what, what, what type of activities uh, like do you have available at the summer camp? Well, we uh, summer camp we have um, we have a lake with uh, water slide. We have a beach. We have canoes. We have uh, paddle boats. There we have the blob. Have you ever been blob before? No. What is that? That is like Who a it, you know? twenty foot uh, <laughs> blow up. That's probably. Eight foot tall, twelve foot wide. You get on a platform, you jump down on it, and then you get to the edge, and then someone else jumps on it and it catapults you in the air right into the water. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. That sounds like a good time. What do you do and say this afternoon? Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll be a great time to be there and do that <laughs> it's today. Hot. So that blob sounds pretty but, sweet. Uh, yeah, but the nice thing is, is especially being so hot, we have indoor facilities too. Uh -huh. We have a beautiful twenty thousand square foot family life center that's got basketball courts, it's got a coffee shop, it's got a concession stand, it's got a lounge, a game room area, and uh, also has an indoor pool and hot tub. Oh, that's which cool. Is just a beautiful that sounds like area. a great place you got there. Well, it's nothing like a camp I used to go to yeah. um, <laughs> when I was a kid. So the facility, we have a brand new twenty-seven room hotel there too. It's got a nice little conference room, and and those are all hotel style rooms with your bathroom. That would be um, cool right into the room so it's really great for families and for women's retreats and, and things like that so. how, how long have you been at hidden acres just three years oh, uh, wow. i was prior i was with eventually amusement park and no uh, for about 14 years and and uh worked in the food department there and i was did some sales and marketing for them and, no kidding. and uh so god moved me it was awesome and and been there three years and and that's kind of what i do at the camp i promote and market the camp throughout the states and um, and I also uh, run our adult ministries and, and all kind of our retreats oversee that. And so it's just uh, just a great place. So given the facilities that you have, uh, you, do you run stuff year-round? 
We do, yeah. We uh, will run men's retreat in January. We have a great sportsman's retreat in March where about 500 guys get together and we just blow up things. We just shoot. It's just awesome. And, and, uh, and then we run, uh, uh, we have Senior Saints Days. We do those in May and, and October for, for the older uh, uh, generation. And we do gospel hymn singing, some quartets and stuff like that. And This sounds awesome. It, yeah. it, it's, uh, it's a great place. We do a golf school. A lot of the people up there are hunters. I'm not a hunter, but I love to golf. Yeah. And so now we have a professional golf teacher come out. We do a golf school instruction right there and, and just a great place to hang out. That is, that is very cool. I remember I told my dad when I was smaller that I wanted to go camping. Yeah. And he took my shirt and shoes and then threw me in the backyard. <laughs> well, that was it. <laughs> you know, like, this sounds way better. <laughs> well, you know, and, and it is a, a place if, if you're – type of camping is staying in a beautiful hotel with air conditioning and 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 all the the, the queen size bed we have that Definitely. but if you wanted a tent camp or rv camp we have about uh 100 campsites up there too Holy which cow. is a great That's place just an expanse now yeah do you have creatures what's that are there creatures and wildlife around your place uh, absolutely like, bob, uh, like bobcats well we had our <laughs> wilderness boys just trapped a 15 pound turtle snapping turtle in our lake out there and then they had turtle soup yesterday with it so oh it the, was awesome they cooked that turtle they cooked that turtle how do you deshell a turtle i have no idea you shake them right till they well, fall out yeah, I, I like yeah. Steve, <laughs> steve's <laughs> attitude on this thing he says you know what i, I don't want to know about it I, I, whatever goes on behind that kitchen door i don't care you shell that turtle however it's got to be done no I, but it's it, it's fun but we you know it's a neat place i think we get so busy that it's a great place to disconnect sometimes and, yeah. and turn off your cell phone disconnect and uh, we have destinations that you can do that we just put in two hammock havens where they're they're nestled back in the woods there's about 18 hammocks hanging in trees out there you can just go up there and just relax up that's there. brilliant i tried to check this out i tried to do that downtown i work downtown at an insurance company right and i thought i just want to rent like a small spot uh, outside of that buzzer billies yeah. and put up like 30 hammocks and have and just have people be able to come in their lunch hour and just sit in a hammock and kind of hang out yeah de-stress for a while yeah and and what, this and, hammock and, and then what happened yeah. they pay me two bucks they, <laughs> i can't rent that space for free man <laughs> <laughs> hammock haven is not free <laughs> uh so uh website how they can get a hold of you check out more of your stuff you bet hacamps.org it's our website. Uh, there's a lot of things there uh, that they can they can scroll through and see everything that's going on. And uh, but uh, we just would love for people to come out, tour the camp. We love to give uh, ministries an opportunity to come out, see how we can kind of support their ministry and and kind of be a place that they can. Now, come. do you have a uh, do you have uh, are you currently associated with any uh, low rent internet broadcast? Well. <laughs> We're, we're not, kidding? by. I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to be... Um, <laughs> okay, Steve, this is not a conversation for everybody. I'm just, I, it's more of a private deal that uh, we can talk about later. I just want to know who, who I'm dealing with. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but this, uh, thank you very much for listening to Live from the Path on Life from the Path.org. Our guest has been Steve Pinkley uh, with the, uh, the camp. What was the name of the camp? The Hidden Acres, Acres, Christian. Hidden Acres Christian Camp. Yep. Uh, and it, I mean, it sounds really awesome, frankly. And I'm, I'm going to be forced to go up there and check it out. But the problem is that once I go up there, I'm going to really like it and have to stay. Uh, so j I'd bring uh, money with you. No, no, no. Here's the deal. Steve has was, Steve was graciously permitted you to sleep at his place. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I, I, you know, I have. Do you live on the... On the on well, I don't. I actually Steve. live in Bond <laughs> Ranch. But Are awesome story. I, I know you guys just got a few minutes. But <laughs> I was... Uh, uh, someone donated me a classic 1983 Winnebago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's just unbelievable. My family hates it my wife won't stay with me sure. but it's like the man cave oh yeah and uh the air condition works which is great and so when i up at camp i stay in in, in my winnebago oh, okay and, uh, it's awesome but seriously you guys have an invitation to come up we'd love for you guys to come up tour the camp we'll feed you lunch give you some more cookies and uh steve knows right how to get me that's right. <laughs> we're he's, totally going he speaks to my heart <laughs> that's right but uh but it's been fun getting to know you guys today you guys have fun but I know your heart, and you love Jesus, and you proclaim the, the kingdom, and that's awesome. You bet. Awesome. We've awesome. been talking to Steve Pinkley. Uh, we're going we're gonna to give you an update, because we're going to go visit Steve. And we're going to come back to the show, and we're going to tell you about it. Yeah, I, want, I want to blob you. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Or I'm in. zip line. We can have a zip line, climbing wall, stuff like that. I saw the zip line in the pamphlet. I'm going to split the difference and do both. The blob line. <laughs> it's uh, never been you. done. Thank you very much, Steve, for stopping by. Thank you, guys. Thanks, You've been listening live in the path. We're going to turn you back over uh, to the uh, Diddy's Fornian family. And so you can enjoy more of their tunes, and we'll be right back with you 
Uh, you've been listening to Live from the Path. Check out our live show, Monday nights, 10 to midnight, livefromthepath.org.